I'm Graham Ross. I'm the founder of the Mediation Room. I thought it'd take a few minutes just to explain very, very briefly uh, what mediation is uh, for those who perhaps have not been involved in mediation before. First thing I have to say is always, without fail, try mediation before you litigate, before you get involved in a court action. Even if it doesn't succeed, it will have narrowed the issues between the parties so much as to make the ultimate litigation much faster and, importantly, less costly. But let me just explain one an important point to distinguish mediation from perhaps sensible negotiation or conciliation between parties. The important thing is, whilst there are lots of different ways of mediating, uh, the mediator in a, in, a, in a mediation is someone who is neutral. He is independent of both parties. He doesn't represent one party alone. He's not employed by one party alone, he's not contracted by one party alone. His obligations are equal to both parties. And this is very important because it enables the mediator to do something that no lawyer or judge or anyone else trying to assist people in dispute can ever do, and that is have confidential discussions, not with one, but with both parties. So as a mediator, I will talk to one, then I will talk to the other. And I, I owe an absolute duty of confidentiality not to pass on information either way. This is very important because it gives me a unique insight into uh, the perspective of both parties. It is my job to develop trust so that they can talk frankly about all the issues. For example, if, it's a, if, if, a, if one person is not paid for something he contracted to pay, a service or a product, I need to just double check, particularly in these days, that one of the drivers to this dispute is not simply that he's got some sort of cash flow problem. This is very important because, of course, you don't want to be suing people and spending money with your lawyers if at the end of the day all he does is bring you a piece of paper being a judgment. Um, but that judgment is, is not satisfied. You've just thrown more money away after the ban. Now, in litigation... Perhaps the major distinction is that in litigation, a judge is really looking at a very narrow field of view of the case. He's simply looking at the facts of what has happened in the past, and he's applying to it the law to see what are the rights and wrongs about the matter. Um, and at the end of the day, he's also very limited in the solutions that he can offer to people, which is usually a sum of money is paid by one side or the other. Now, in mediation, even if it is a simple, let's say in business, an example, a, 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 a regular customer is not paying on a particular delivery of a parcel of goods, um, there's a lot more to it than the facts about what's happened. Uh, I would want, as a mediator, to be asking the seller, the supplier, even if he has a very, very strong case that he may win in court, I would want to ask him, uh, how much money has he made from this customer? In the past, how much of a regular customer has he been? And I would want him to factor in that whilst he may get the money back at best that he is owed on this particular delivery, uh, he's quite clearly likely to lose all future business because no customer is likely to continue to trade with someone who took him to court. Um, so in that situation, the actual loss at the end of the day can be much, much greater than the amount of money in dispute. Now, a judge isn't concerned with that underlying relationship. Um, the mediator clearly will be, and in fact, one of the things I might in that situation be seeing whether there's some sort of compromise on the price can be offered by the seller in return for some commitment to further buying by the customer. In this way, as a mediator, I'm focusing also on the underlying relationship, trying to preserve that beyond the solution. Now this can happen of course in employment, in business partnership disputes and all manner of disputes where there is a, an underlying relationship. But that's just one example uh, me of mediation having a much more pragmatic approach to disputes. But always try mediation first. That's all I have time just to let you know now and I will be posting some further uh, um, a discussion and talks in the future. But if you have any sort of questions, by all means write to me uh, through the website. Uh, we do hold regular webinars which you can uh, uh, um, enroll onto and learn more uh, about the handling of disputes through mediation. Thank you.